Tomlinson Library has been open for almost an entire semester since the renovations were completed. Students and faculty have taken advantage of the new building and all the features that it has to offer. There were some things that the students asked for, like uh, food and coffee close at hand. And then the library staff has its own um, work needs. We have um, certain areas that we need certain functionality. We tried to have the service points that made most sense for the students so they could get research help and IT help and check out books all in you know, real close proximity, those kinds of things. They asked for more study rooms, so we got 25 versus there were eight in the previous study room. We have two classrooms. We needed more than one, and we needed it to seat more. The other one was 24, and this one is 35. It was President Foster's vision to add the servery or the cafeteria side of it as a way to offer food to the southern end of campus for these dorms here on the south end. Um, also, just because there's, um, it's really busy at the UC. If you see at a certain amount of time, they just needed to alleviate that. And I think the other thought was for the commuter population. So the library could be a good place for them to eat and hang out. Holy Habaneros, Pandini's, and Einstein's Bagels have been an instant hit with the students around campus, especially those who come to the library often. They like the food and they're doing just what the students in the focus group said they wanted, which is I see they go downstairs and get coffee and a bagel and come right back up. It can be kind of a hassle to have to leave the library and go get something to eat if you get hungry. So that way you have it right there. All you have to do is go down the stairs or whatever and uh, get something to eat and then go back up and continue on your work. President Foster is kind of committed to having variety on campus for the students. So the fact that there's a Starbucks at the University Center, they said, okay, well, let's do Einstein's at the library. And we giggle about it. Well, it's the intellectual powerhouse, so we have Einstein's, right? Um, in terms of the food venues, again, he's looking for variety. And so I'm not sure why, but you know, Italian and um, Mexican food are pretty good choices, right? Some students tend to come to the facility more than others. Quite a bit. I would say at least uh, five days a week, sometimes more than that. Just depends on the week. Uh, mainly study. Uh, that's what I mainly go to the library for. And uh, I don't know, every once in a while I'll take a break and go get something to eat downstairs and stuff like that. Just take a little break and stuff. Then. An additional feature of the library is the ability to stay after hours and continue working on assignments. Another thing that was kind of unusual that has proved to be really popular is the 24-hour space. So I don't know when that came up. It wasn't in my focus group, but you know we have that space that they can keep working after midnight or before 7, and that gets a lot of use. We have two Mac computers. That's sort of a question that we get. So we put them in the 24-hour space, so I'm not sure how widely known that is across campus. The most important feature of the library, though, is the space the students use to come together, share ideas, and improve the Mesa experience. Well, I think uh, there's less distractions for the most part. And I don't know, you just kind of get that feel like when you're in the library, you know that you're there to study, so it kind of helps you, I guess, in a way that, uh, you know, you, you tend to focus more. I think it's kind of cozier, I guess you can say, as far as, like, uh, your environment. What I'm probably most pleased about is it feels like it's comfortable for the students, and I really like that. So it feels like, especially with the food, that we're thought of as a gathering place, one of the central gathering places on campus, and I couldn't be more pleased with that. I think that's just what a library strives to do. Mm -hmm.